Hey, what's going on? This is Minister Gold. This is a mix up tutorial. Um, this is a follow up on how to make a uh, like a death counter command. I've already made a video on this, but the original way that I did it is kind of janky and like a little much. Like I had this thing where you have like a separate text file, and then you have because of that, you have to make a separate source, um, and you have to edit the file via command. And you don't actually have to do that. That's why I did it originally, but you don't have to do it like that. So I'm going to update that. So uh, in case you don't have a death command set up, um, it'll look kind of like this. So if I go death plus, it'll increment the current death count and play a sound. And then that would also appear in chat um, uh, in case somebody can't see the death count on mobile or something. Uh, and then if you make a mistake and you, like, whoops, I put too many um, deaths on that, we'll go death minus. That'll decrease it. Uh, let's say you forgot a bunch of deaths and you don't want to trigger the death counter over and over and over and over again. Then you want to go death set let's say 69 okay so you don't have to like hit death plus like a bunch of times and then there's two more commands i'll show you how to make or actually it's one command but it has two different uh, possibilities uh death off which hides the death counter and death on which shows the death counter okay so those are the things i'm going to show you today okay so if you find if you end up finding this video useful uh please uh give me a like and subscribe for more videos like these if you'd like to chat with me hang out while i play video games um about whatever you want to talk about life video games um mix it up whatever uh follow me on twitch.tv slash minister gold okay i am going to move my obs over and show you the mix it up window okay so first of all, uh, we want to create the uh, death counter. So we'll go to commands. I'll just type in death to find it. Okay. And then we'll go to uh, death plus. Now you're gonna wanna make your death counter first. Oh, and yeah, so my, my name is my name of my command is death and the plus sign, and then chat trigger is death with a plus sign, and then auto include the exclamation point. And then for permissions, you probably want it to set it to just mods and um, and uh, streamer. So you can go uh, advanced. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see streamer and moderator okay for the permissions and if you want to add a cooldown i'd say maybe like add like a a 30 second cooldown but that depends on you depends on how quickly you die but yeah adjust the cooldown accordingly uh as far as the actual command itself um so first you're going to go to the drop down look for the counter hit the plus sign and add it uh we'll just call this uh Deaths count. Um, and I called it deaths. And for set, just for now, set it to one and hit the hit the play, hit the play button. I want to make sure this is saved to file as well, so that let's say you end your stream, then the counter will persist when you go to the next stream. But yeah, so initially just set this to one, hit the play button. That'll create the uh, the this death counter file. But then going forward, what you want to do is you actually want dollar sign deaths plus one. So it's taking the current value of deaths and adding one to it whenever you press this button or whenever this command is triggered. Okay. Um, and next, uh, in order for your counter to refresh and look like it's updating, uh, I don't know why you have to do this, but you have to hide the death counter and then reshow it. Uh, and your death counter in this case is going to be a widget. 
Okay, so let's get out of this command and let me show you real quick how to make the widget. So I'm just gonna hit save. Go to the menu in the top left. Go to overlay widgets. And then we'll go to the death counter right here. And the type of widget I used for this death counter is, I believe it's the HTML page. Let me just double check real quick. Uh, HTML. Yeah, it's this one. This is the one that I used. So yeah, use the HTML uh, widget. Um, and I guess I just copy this. Um, I'll break this down for you real quick. So in HTML, what this means is uh, H1 is a heading. It's the largest heading you can get in um, like HTML. And then style equals, and then quotes. Uh, quote starts right here, and then ends right here, okay? And this is basically saying, okay, font size, how big is it gonna be? So I'm using the unit EM. Uh, can I make this bigger? I cannot make it bigger. What I can do is I can copy this, go to notepad, paste this in here, and I can zoom this in so you can see this better. Okay, so this is what is in the HTML and mix it up. Okay. So font size, uh, 4EM, that is one type of unit you can use, EM. You can use uh, pixels, you can use percentage. Um, there are a bunch of other units you can use, but I'm using EM. Okay, and semicolon after this, that indicates you're done saying uh, what the value will be for this property. What, uh, and then next after that is the color. Uh, colon white uh, you can say white red black yellow purple whatever or what you can do is you can go to uh, google and type in uh, color picker and you can either use the you can pick a specific color like a very specific color like any one of these okay and then put this hex value so uh, you can put like the hashtag and then a sequence of numbers and letters, and then you can put that right here for the color. And then semicolon, indicate you're done. Uh, the width of this element's gonna be 100%, meaning it's gonna take up 100% of uh, however big your overlay is gonna be, your mix it up overlay. Semicolon, to indicate you're done with that. Then position, relative, because what we're end up, end up doing is we're taking the mix it up overlay and we're saying where exactly will it be on the overlay. Um, but actually you can skip this part for now. Um, this is something else entirely as far as, basically I made commands so that if you type in um, exclamation point death POS space, like bottom left, bottom right, top right, top left, one of those, it'll put it in those respective positions. I'm not going over that because that'll make this tutorial more complicated. Uh, so what you can do instead is you can erase everything from here to here. And what you can do instead is you can just use this, put it to percentage and use the position from left or position from top to move where you want it to go. Um, and if you want to see where that is on the page, then after you've set the values for these, simply hit save, make sure your death counter is turned on so you can see where uh, your death counter shows up on your overlay. Okay. Uh, and yep, that's pretty much it for this. So, okay, our death counter is created. And you, you might've noticed that the death counter on my screen, it just refreshed. Okay, so we'll go back to commands. Okay, so now that the widget is created, uh, you can go to um, overlay, you can add this twice, once to hide the deaths, once to show, show the deaths. And this is actually the overlay widget. So you would select a show hide widget, select your death counter widget, 
make it not visible. Then on the second overlay, again, show such hide widget death counter, make it visible. And that will handle refreshing the um, death counter whenever it, the count is updated. Okay. Then we'll go to uh, chat message, add it. And then it'll just say, you know, miniature gold has died. Dollar sign deaths to get how many deaths you're at right now. And then times. So in my case, 69 times. Okay. And then uh, go to the drop down, add a sound. Or you can add a GIF with a sound or a video, whatever you want to do. Add that, pick the file path, and that's it. And that is how you set up the death plus command to increment up how many deaths you have each time you die. Okay. Now death minus will be very much the same. And for that reason, what you should do actually is uh, going back into death plus. After you've made this command, after you've tested it out, make sure it works the way you expect it to. Go here, click on import actions from file. And then uh, we're going to export that into the death minus command to kind of expedite the process of making that command a little bit. So we'll go over to uh, death minus. And again, set the permissions to be uh, so advanced, streamer, moderator. Okay. Uh, I don't need these. I'm going to delete these. Delete, 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 delete. Uh, let's see, let me see one more thing real quick. So I delete what I didn't need to delete. No, okay. Delete, 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 delete. Okay, so the one thing missing from this is the sound. There's not going to be a sound if you death minus because it's, it's assumed that if you did death minus, you you had not you increased too many times by accident, and so maybe you don't want to keep hearing sounds every time you change your deaths. Okay, so again, uh, drop down, uh, counter, add that, um, and this time we're going to decrease the deaths. So same things before, uh, dollar sign deaths. Or not, not actually no dollar sign, but you know deaths for the deaths counter uh, set, and then dollar sign deaths minus one to take the current number of deaths and subtract one, and then again to refresh the deaths, uh, show the death counter widget, or sorry, hide the death counter widget, then show the death counter widget, then chat message, uh, just say deaths dollar sign deaths to show that your deaths were updated, so. I'll do that right now. For example, uh, doll, exclamation points, deaths minus. Sorry, I spelled it wrong. It's just death minus. Um, okay, so there you go. Updated in chat, updated right here. So that works. Okay. The one last thing I'm going to show you is the death set command because yeah I don't want you to I don't think you want to keep pressing death plus if you missed like 10 deaths by accident or something. Okay, so here's the death set command. Oh, I didn't I didn't update the uh per permissions on this. Save. Okay, let's go to death set. Again, we'll set the permissions. Okay, streamer. Moderator. Okay. Uh, hide this, hide this, hide this. Okay, so we're going to get the, uh, the deaths counter here. Um, deaths for the counter. Set uh, again always this counter should be set to save to file and then dollar sign arg1 text. So in this case, what dollar sign arg1 text means is when I go exclamation point death set and then I go 300, this is arg1 text. So, yeah, so this is how you uh, set the deaths for how many you want it to be. Again, hide the death counter, throw the death counter. To refresh the death counter overlay on stream or on in the overlay and then uh, chat message deaths and then dollar sign deaths to update the um, 
uh, the deaths on screen to what you put in the death counter. So one more time, uh, exclamation point death set uh, 420. There you go. There is one more thing I have to show you, which is how to hide the death counter or show the death counter with a command. And that'll be very quick and simple. So I'll show you that right now. Uh, so I made a command called death. Uh, we'll set the permissions for that to advanced, uh, streamer, moderator. Okay, so this is the death command. Um, in the death command, name is death, uh, chat trigger is death, auto include the exclamation point. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add a conditional uh, twice, once for on, once for off. Okay, so if uh, dollar sign arg1 text equals off, add an overlay action, which is right here. Okay, add that. Uh, show slash hide widget as a specific overlay action. Select your death counter and make it not visible. So this is for off. Okay. And then again, conditional. If dollar sign argon text equals on, then for the action, again, select the uh, overlay action. Add it. For the specific uh, overlay action, select show slash hide widget. Uh, select the death counter, set it to visible, and that's it. That is how you make a command to hide or show the death counter. So again, quick demo. Uh, death off, death on. There you go. And yeah, so uh, that is how you. Increase the death count by one, decrease it by one, set it to a specific number, and then hide or show the death counter with a command. Um, if you found this helpful, uh, please leave this video a like and subscribe for so you know when I publish the next uh, mix-up tutorial video. If you'd like to hang out, uh, follow me on uh, twitch.tv slash All right, thank you. See ya.